In this tutorial, I'll introduce you to some of the reporting features available in Moodle. I'll be focusing on some specific reports which, for instance, report on student participation and also allow you to track and audit your student activity. So I'm going to swap now into Moodle. Here I am, I'm logged in as a teacher. Now depending on your screen arrangement, you may have Moodle configured in a number of ways. For me, I have these panels on the left hand side. You might see your Moodle more like this, where you have them arranged as visible panels. But what we're looking for is this administration panel. So I'll, allow, I'll scroll the screen down so I can show you this better. Underneath here, there's a section which deals with reports. Now there are a range of reports here. I'm going to focus on two of them. The first is this activity completion report. I think this is perhaps the most valuable. Now before I get into the detail of this report, I should describe that this is a subject which includes a number of reportable items such as assignments, discussion forum, uh, quizzes, etc. I have recordings for each one of those and I'd encourage you to consider setting your Moodle course up to actually facilitate these participation records because without them the reporting itself has nothing to look for. So for me I have it set up with a whole range of reportable features and so now I can make audits of my students. Now in this particular example I only have one student but you can see by the ticks represented here what activities they've completed and by implication those activities that they haven't completed. Most importantly, I think, we get to export this out, for instance, as an Excel file. I'm going to do that quickly and open that up for you. Um, this is something that, particularly in terms of student auditing, becomes a really invaluable document because, and I'll just expand each of these columns to see what's within them. It lists all of the student details. It lists the particular activity and its status, so in this case the fact that they've read the thing called Introduction Read First, and the date and time that that happened. So you can see how invaluable this could be in an audit situation. As I scroll across, you can see, for instance, that the student completed this assignment, and this is the date and time that they did them. So really, really valuable information. OK, I'll close that down now and show you some of the other reporting. Let me show you another report now, and it's this logs report. Now, it just so happens that Moodle records every single click that every student makes. Sometimes it's a little overwhelming. There's almost too much information there. But you can see how useful it can be if you need to, in a very precise manner, look at what your students have been doing. Let me show you an example. I can choose from the drop down menu here a number of options Now, what I'm deliberately going to choose is one of my participants this is the student participant here and I get to set a range from which I can see their activity I could report on just this day's activity or I can report on all of days so basically from the start of this course I'll show you what that looks like initially I should warn you that some of these logs can take some time to generate. So as I scroll through, you can see there's a huge amount of information here, right down to effectively every button that that student clicked. There's all of these view options. Now, amongst all of this, there's probably some really interesting information about participation, what things they've done in an active fashion, but it's obscured by all of these view things here. Students viewing something doesn't actually meet our participation requirements, so we want to filter out the noise a little bit and see things in a more specific way. So I'm going to scroll to the top and make an, a different choice here. Under the All Actions drop-down menu, if you choose All Changes, it shows only those things where a student has done something active they've participated. So for instance you can see that they've added a forum post or they've attempted a quiz um, and so now we're getting a much more meaningful report on what this particular um, student did and when. So for an example here 
here is a date and time that the student submitted an assignment for grading and indeed if we wanted to get precise information about what that was we can click on the actual link here and be taken into the very specific item that the student performed at that time. So you can see that there's a tremendous amount of information that can be available through these logs if and only if you're called to use it.